Also using my um, cocoa olive shea oil. <laughs> Forgot what I called it. Um, so the first thing I did was clarify my hair and uh, conditioned it. Uh, left it fairly wet and um, put some of this all over my hair first. Just using my hands, rubbing, rubbing, and doing a light finger pull. Um, that way, as I go and when it dries, it won't dry you know completely out that there'll still be some moisture left hopefully i just want to show you something um remember from the last ask me vid um somebody asked about small pieces in the center of their head just to prove to you that i have them too i'm pretty sure it's from um just you know rushing and not taking the time, especially in an area that, like back here, which is, you know, the area that's hardest to reach. Um, and making sure that hair in that area is not twisted and turned and is uh, smoothed out with your fingers first. Um, so I guess I need to be a little more careful as well. Um, all I can do is do better. I mean, look at this and then look at this. Okay, I'm almost done. Um, learned something new today. <laughs> you know, this, this hair is definitely a lesson in, um, you know, practice makes perfect or live and learn or whatever. And then as I was finger raking, I was thought to myself like, I wonder if a comb would glide through this. So this is what I ended up doing. Now this section is is dry. Well, I just uh, dampened it, dampened it a little bit with my hands, um, just so I could split it apart. And again, I'm using the same technique of, you know, getting the section you want first, and then, you know, pulling from the ends. Just if you slow down, give your hair time to untangle in itself, otherwise you'll make a knot. Okay, that's my section. And I'm going to go ahead and apply the echo directly. Lightly first, get it all over. more, especially on my ends, but I start with the shaft and work my way out, really trying to saturate the strands well. And then when I think I've got a fairly decent amount of product in, I want to just dampen my hands and then really just kind of saturate but it also gives me the slip that I need without adding a whole lot of extra product and kind of go through their fingers and look for tangles smooth it back out go through and finger rake and I'm using this little comb believe it or not Go through my ends first. You can see this. Only up through the ends. I'm not going to try to go all the way up with this. Not yet. 
Okay. Smooth it back out. And then what I'm going to do is just jab the hair with the comb through the shaft. Not really trying to go all the way through yet. Just a little bit. Just trying to break it up. And I think what this is doing is really, you know, separating. the sections, the, the coils into more individual strands and just work my way down slowly and as you see I'm not really combing through and then I go back and I smooth back through with my fingers do it one more time and this time let me slow down and I should be able to get through most of it. If I get to a stop, I just chop again. Now this may seem like an, an arduous process, but it's not really. And when I get to the end, I do the finger rake again. That way my fingers take care of the big problems because if you just run a comb or brush through it and, and you force it, your hair is going to have no choice but to break off. And then I do the ends again. Remember, always follow the direction your hair is growing. Okay. Smooth through one more time. Now my brush glides through. No effort at all. I shouldn't have to detangle again for another couple weeks. Okay, it's the next morning. I'm tired. Um, I thought I'd show you my morning hair. Um, I just put it up because uh, I did this last night. I didn't go anywhere. And um, I'm basically going to do my winter wash and go method. So check out that vid for more information. Okay. Oh. What's going on with that? As you can see, the gel gives me significant hang. And um, as it dries, it will not... Um, I mean, it'll shrink a little bit, but not nearly as much had I not done anything. But um, again, in the shower, all I did was wet my hands and scrunched just till you know it started to fall and left it alone and then let the steam kind of attract uh, more moisture um, and kept my hair out of direct uh, water for the duration of my shower and that's it now I have to do a style and uh, let it go